Bournemouth strike late to beat Tottenham Hotspur in five-goal thriller. Daniel Watara scored a dramatic last gasp winner as Bournemouth gave their survival hopes a major boost with a 3-2 triumph over Tottenham Hotspur in North London. Goals from Sun Hyung Min and Arnaut Danjuma either side of Matthias Vina and Dominic Solank's responses would seemingly give rise to a share of the spoils, but Watara's strike with 95 minutes on the clock sealed a wonderful win for the Cherries, as Spurs' troubled season hit a low ebb. Due to a reported accident bringing traffic to a standstill, the late arrival of the Bournemouth team bus saw kickoff delayed by 15 minutes, but the hiatus had little impact on a front-footed Tottenham crop. Christian Stellini's unchanged side came through a couple of nervy moments in the first few minutes, but after asserting their dominance, the opening goal did not take long to arrive. In the 14th minute of the match, Clement Langlet picked out Ivan Perisic down the left with a sumptuous long ball, and the Croatian cut back for Sun, aided by a deflection off Jack Stevens, to slot home his 101st Premier League goal. Despite quickly gaining a foothold on the game, thanks in no small part to an inspired Sun, Tottenham remained vulnerable to Bournemouth counterattacks, with Ryan Christie firing over the bar in the 16th minute and Marcus Tavernier's curling strike meeting the fingertips of Hugo Lloris just before the half-hour mark. The Lily Whites were then forced into a defensive alteration in the 34th minute as Langlet pulled up with a problem. Davinson Sanchez was brought into the fray, but the Colombians' first act was to play a major part in a merited Bournemouth equalizer. Surrounded by Cherry's shirts, Pedro Porro gave the ball away in a dangerous area, and Sanchez was caught unawares on the right hand side of the box as Vina, making his full Premier League debut, charged into space and chipped the ball over the onrushing Loris. Vina's afternoon soon came to a premature end, though, as the left-back was forced off just four minutes into the second half to be replaced by Adam Smith, facing the club he represented for six years between 2008 and 2014. The loss of one goalscorer just opened the door for another Bournemouth man to steal the spotlight, and Sanchez was found wanting again, as the Colombian poked the ball into Solank's path for the striker to score a carbon copy of Vina's dink in the 51st minute. Sanchez was the subject of boos from the home crowd following his error, and Stellini wasted no time in ending the centre-back's nightmare afternoon, sending on Danjuma as Spurs switched to a back four. Bournemouth failed to clear a long throw, and the ball fell to Danjuma inside the box, the Villarreal Loni did not even take a touch before picking out the bottom corner with a sweetly struck half-volley. Tottenham would desperately go in search of a winner, but the scoreless Richerlison would be made to pay for a missed header, as Watara cut inside before curling home into the bottom corner to snatch all three points for Bournemouth. Stellini's side retained their fifth place standing in the table, three points behind Manchester United having played two games more, while Bournemouth sit 14th and are six clear of the dotted line. Spurs' next game is away to fellow champions league chasers Newcastle United on April 23rd, while the Cherries host West Ham United in a pivotal basement battle in eight days' time.